This is how you're supposed to do it when you break them in. You just hang them from a, like I just use that. You can use rope or whatever, but it, the idea is just so that it doesn't sit there and jitter off the table or whatever. So this is that Dayton Ultimax. Before and after. So let's see what we did. We did we improved the comb. We did the mega roll with black stitch. This is for Raymond. And what else did we do? We did uh, single good spider with quad leads, uh, fat flat. And then we upgraded to the four gauge terminals. And then I'm going to suggest this one to kind of give it a sort of an homage to what it was before. And then we'll epoxy that into place. Here's the parameters. Feel free to run them through the system to, to compare. Uh, on this one, I use the uh, copper flat um, Slim Jim coil, which is uh, 60 millimeter tall. So that's it, guys. I love you. Thank you.